previously on the Kosharskis. What is this? I come home and you're riding the pain train, really? What's up, man? They finally got rid of the water. In the basement? That's a positive. But Josh, where, where are we heading? I don't know why you insist upon going with me to fill up gas. Alabama doesn't have lottery tickets, Josh. She's been riding the brake. She's been driving for an hour. I'm trying to take a nap because I want to get there tonight. You look, you look like a giant green bean right now. <laughs> He's a green bean. <laughs> Josh, do you see that over there? Somebody has a flat tire and they don't even know it. Look, look at the truck. Look at the truck. Welcome to Texas. I send me some money to buy corn dogs. And I go love you forever. I want this. How much is this? How much are you, Mario? Joshy, we are not in Kansas anymore. Dang, they've changed this hotel around because it wasn't like this before. But here we Oh no, they changed this whole thing, Laurel. Look at this. There's the pool down there and there's the hot tub. It's my favorite. And then there's the water theme park, but awesome. no, that is a huge parking lot. Yeah, that's that's access parking. Awesome. But uh, look, look, look at all those cars. So we've arrived. We're at the hotel, the Sheraton. The 13th floor, or 19th. Yeah, the, they, the Sheraton is superstitious. By the way, there is no 13th floor at any Sheraton because of that reason. I I don't know why. So right, I need to shower. so our room yeah. number is 911, 1911, and uh. That's fantastic. We're at the top of the You're building. Bed, man. There is no 13th floor. The Sheraton is superstitious. It goes 10, 11, 12, 14. They're afraid of Josh and black cats, apparently. Yes, I just. Oh, what'd you say, Laurel? I said, I'm just glad we're on the 19th. Yeah, well. Good thing we're not afraid of heights. So, we were just discussing my pajama pants here, the Mara ones, uh, and Laurel, who did you say wears the exact I, 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 it, They don't need to know. No, this doesn't need to be filmed. Fine. I want to wear a bandana here. Look everybody, it's Toe Mater. Get her done. Entertain, entertain Mara, why have you forsaken us? Where have you gone? We love you. I got my lucky ducky. He's with me today, his name is Quackers. Unfortunately, he has wings. I wish he didn't have wings. <laughs> but, um, I, I knew that was coming. Look where we're at, guys. We're gonna go eat at Josh's favorite restaurant. Your favorite. Luby's. That majestic sign. We have arrived. Don't ask me about Luby's. Do you like Luby's food, Laurel? Food. It, was just, it, it kind of tastes like hospital food, but it's still, it's still food. There's just so much of it, I can't eat it all. Look That's at that. So look good. at that jello. We got the salad bar. Over here we got the jello. We got the entree. And we got the dessert. Right this, is, this, is, this is your buffet, what is Laurel. This? this is my kind right here. Yeah. Okay. This is why I'm fat. This is. This Oh, it's gonna be so funny because you're like, don't ask me about Libby. That was literally the next question. Josh eating kind of vegetables. My mother says these aren't vegetables. I don't care. Mother That's a vegetable. That's a vegetable. That's a vegetable. I know it's not, but still. Look, Thor got carrots and green beans. What did you get, Josh? Josh is inhaling his food. Laurel, my mom says I didn't get a vegetable. You didn't. You didn't. I got dose vegetables. Those yes. vegetables? So did I. See, See I, I would lose more weight if I ate this. But those desserts over there are and cult. the sweet tea are what kill me every time. We're done eating at Luby's. I can't believe Josh would accuse me as such of a thing. Because you did. You took the menu. Besides a drink. What? You took the menu down. They took the napkin. They have a menu. Oh my God, and you took the napkin? Hold on. Anyways. Josh, why would you accuse me of taking... I would never. You, you guys, you know, laugh at your mom for being a hoarder and keeping everything. Just because we don't have one of these in Florida doesn't mean you have to take something from here. You can leave it. Well, 
Normally these are what these are made for. You take these with you so you have made you. Okay, I, I know you guys might get tired of seeing certain things over and over again, but Luby's is a Luby's is is an American national treasure. Um and we love Luby's and we're gonna go there every year. We're gonna continue to go there until we don't go there no more. That was some good food at Luby's. We'll see you next year. Apparently. Luby's is garbage. My pants are see-through. What did you just say? I see, I see my pants phone. are see-through and your mom was staring at my ass. Why are you staring at her butt? It's see-through. Bump, bump, bump. What you need? It's also a good thing I got a phone on. My wife and I are in Cigars. So we're going here. Laurel, can you tell me what this building looks like? It's a Walmart, obviously. But uh, explain what to the fans. Like? Yeah, does it not look like a giant brown shape? No. Tubes? No. Looks like it came out of Josh after he eats a Luby's. That's all I'm going to say. It, you know what it kind of looks like? What? An office building. That's it. You know, like airplane there hangers. Would, you know, like, like there would be hangers. one section, or like a doctor's office maybe. The other one could be like a Department of Children and Families. Well, can't forget but about does, the families. Yeah, but it does. It's it's an odd shape. It's but it's not shaped like a turd. It's definitely an odd shape. Look, there's even a doctor's inside. ZTE. ZTE. They don't even take it. They don't even have it on the phone. Right. What's it? Get an appraisal. Come on. Oh. We're selling us our phones. We're selling phones. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Little trash. Yeah. Puzzle. We're putting in information. This is this this is not good. This, this can't be good. This has got to be good. I say they're gonna not. I say I say five bucks. Put it in. Stick it in, Joshy. Look for the cable with the green connector. Oh, it's connected, but it's not. Once we're connected, oh, it's got no power, does it? Oh, I'm not gonna connect the phone. What? Okay. Tap the closed door. Hit closed door. Hit closed door. What is it doing? I'm hitting the button. Well, you're not so. You're not too. Oh, there we go. go. Here we go. Oh, this is like that video. What was that guy that traded all his iPhones on YouTube? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hold on, guys. I'll show you guys what, what the final price was. Apparently, Josh doesn't know how to charge a phone, and it won't take the phone because it's not charged. You have to do some stuff to it. And anyway, yeah. So no sell on the phone. Why do you like Walmart so much? Because boys pants are half long. You're like always in Walmart. And no, Josh. I'm not always in Walmart. I can't afford to go there. But it's like your favorite place to shop. It's right. Walmart oh, and San Juan. And Publix when I have the money. What are you doing, Laurel? Waiting for your mom. Yeah, she's in checkout. Going to Walmart with my mother is like going to Disneyland or Disney World. Hey, look, look at my shadow. I got one of those Alfred Hitchcock shadows. Okay, I even got, I even got the, the little gut here. <laughs> so, we've been seeing a lot of this letter A. My mother at one point thought it stood for Aaron, but no, it's Arlington. Uh, Texas. A Texas Ar Arlington College. I'm assuming this is similar to the SPC back by us. No, it's not. It's, not it's, a, it's a bigger one? Okay, well, then it's, it's a bigger one, but it is Arlington College. So. One of, if not the best things about Retro Palooza and about this hotel is the hot tub. Uh, me and Josh are going down there. Um, it's supposed to be coming out. I don't know why he's not coming out, but I'm going to go downstairs, get in the hot tub, and we're doing a live stream tonight. So uh, that ought to be fun to live stream to all of you peoples. Josh, why are we by the computers? I don't know. Why are we doing this? We're doing this here in Texas again. 
Well, the live stream went well, kind of. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that live stream was, was a little bit of a mess. We tried to do it from the hotel. It wasn't working. You guys kept calling the lobby saying we were doing lines of coke by the pool. It, it was a mess. Josh, it's time to get up. Wake up. Aaron, stop. Oh. It's Friday morning. We are waking up. It's uh, not even 8 o'clock yet. Looking out over the Dallas sky. There. Oh. Look at that. Beautiful view, way up here on the good old 19th floor. Uh, yeah, we are way high up in a roly-poly sky. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go downstairs. We're going to go do some stuff today. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. We are upstairs, um, about to take an elevator down, 19 stories. Uh, oh, yeah. Great shot, Aaron. So I'm gonna play with my titties. <laughs> we love titties. Look at that. Ranger Stadium. Oh. Jock, don't you care. Excellent. Should get some shots from there. Should get some shots from there. From up here. See, I look great. You're exposed, Joshy. Expose this. Exposed. I'm exposed right now. I'm gonna expose myself. First off, I would like to say, I would like to say, hold on. No. Mother, so, so you're, first off, I would like to say it's been confirmed. I just watched the video. Josh being born is the reason Tupac died. Tupac died September 13th, and I'm pretty sure it was either 95 or 96. But if it was 1995, that, that means that Tupac died the exact day Josh was born. Tupac. And I just realized that. Yes. Is that a coincidence? I think not. Tupac. Josh! In correction to the statement I just Josh. made, I, I oh, knew Josh it was either 95 or 96. Unfortunately, it was 1996. Josh, that so that means that Josh was exactly a year old when it had happened. Uh, sorry, correction of the video. So, but still, that is scary that he died September 13th. Josh was born September 13th. That is nuts. So, um, about, about this conspiracy theory, did you know that Tupac died on your birthday? There's no proof he died. I still think he's alive. He might, he very well might be alive and well, but the day they claim he died was September 13th. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, okay. don't say it, don't say it. So, Hotel Sheraton just called me. Are you allowed? And apparently, apparently we now, we're about to go set up at the convention center, but there's been a mishap. Our room was rented to somebody else. We have to go to the front yeah, desk and see what happened. Um, that wasn't a troll. So, I, yeah, unless I wasn't troll. I don't think it was a troll. But anyway, we got to go check all that out. We're going inside to get to to get the dolly and get badges and stuff like that. But, yeah, interesting day. Um, so, Laurel, they double booked us? Mm-hmm. 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 I really like the 19th floor, too. But yeah, apparently they double booked us, so we had to grab all of our stuff. And I, I, I kind of lost Josh's really expensive cologne. Alright guys, if you smell this cologne, you better return it. And Sharon's DS, I think. Not bad. Okay, um... When, because... We decided, Aaron and I were just going to go get everything because two tortoises were just going to take too long. Hold on, what? Look how big that is. Josh, over I think they made this bigger this time. What? What's over there? Where's Laurel? Where's... Oh boy, here we go. Laurel, you're not going to believe this. I know, but, but Greg said I could stay with him. He has an extra bed. What? So I, I thought, I, what? So I don't have to sleep with him. I can sleep next to him oh. on a different bed. That sounds good. Woohoo! Y'all have a room. Aaron, Get up, Aaron. Aaron Again. Can sleep with, Aaron can good sleep job. With you, Greg. 
So yes, I am now walking over to the Arling, uh, to the Sheraton to figure out what's going on with our hotel room. Supposedly they booked it, somehow they booked it twice or something, I don't know. I'm gonna go check it out, see what's going on. I'll give you guys a live update when I'm done at the Sheraton. And then we're gonna go back over there and try and set everything up for Retro Palooza, which starts tomorrow. So, uh, back there behind me, him. That is uh, the angry video game nerd. I actually, that is like the weirdest way to, uh, to officially meet somebody in my entire life, but either which way. So I, I, I finally got to meet him. Uh, oh. And hopefully, hopefully I'll get some more. Yeah, hopefully I'll get to talk to him more at the convention. But I'm, con I'm conflicted right now because this is the only time the entire weekend he's going to be alone, you know. Once, once, once the convention starts, he's going to be talking to everybody. So I might not get a chance. So this was my chance, but I did say hi. So just so you know, I did say hi. So, yeah, the hotel calls me and they're like, Aaron, you need to get down here. Um, we have to switch a room. Your room got double booked for whatever reason. Uh, we had Thursday night from the 19th floor, but Friday and Saturday night they were moving us to the 11th floor. And as I'm going to do deal with all of that, lo and behold, James Rolfe himself, the angry video game nerd, this guy, this shirt guy, was checking in, and I got to meet him. Um, I'm like, hey, I know that guy, and and, and the one the one dude from uh, Cinemassacre, I I know him too, cause cause him and the other guy do Screen Wave, and anyway. He was like, he was like, I would hope you know him. That's that's the nerd. And, and I'm like, so I go over and I start talking to him. Uh, I didn't really talk for very long because we were both trying to, we had stuff we had to get done. But I introduced myself, told him who I was. So that's a good sign. And um, he did get some Kucharski shirts. So maybe, maybe he'll put them on in uh, one of his uh, upcoming videos. Please. She ain't gonna wear them. So we have been moved to 11:06. Uh, this is our, this is our new, this is our new room. <laughs> our new humble abode. Well, Laura, we can't take the stairs. We have to roll like Mama K. We have to. We can't. We can't do stairs. No, we already took her bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we took Mama K's bed. And we got a new room, floor 11, instead of floor 19. Slightly better. We're going back to set up at the convention. You got a badge, Laurel? Do you even know where our, our table is yet? I did, and then I forgot. Ah. Uh, they told me. Jay even showed me. Then I forgot. I can leave because huh. my back's hurting me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Laurel, but my back's hurting me. Mother, look, why? My back hurts. My right side hurts. My, my legs are swollen. Mother, why can't you just I'm leave her? This I'm entire home. trip, Mama K has been harassing Laurel, and it's been a living nightmare. She's harassing me. I ain't harassing her. This could be your last Palooza if you keep this up. I don't care, Josh. Woohoo! Doing it for a reason. Don't don't. Okay, this question has to be on everybody's mind at this point of the trip. Um, what's with you and Laurel feuding literally at every stop? What the heck? I wasn't feuding with her. She was feuding with me. Well, what were, what were you doing to uh, upset her, I should ask? Lord only knows. I don't remember. I was being a pain in the butt because I was cramped in the back seat. But she was more cramped than I was. As a matter of fact, both of us, both her and me, came home with feet this big. Our ankles were both swollen because of it. I just did a trade with another vendor. Uh, he got my black GameCube in the box, and I got Kirby Return to Dreamland. He had it 30. I'm gonna get 30 for that. That's an easy $30 sell for that one. Kirby Squeak Squad 20. Kirby Superstar Ultra 20, and $20 cash. So by the time I sell those, and those are gonna be really easy sellers. Those, those Kirby games, complete and mint like that, are really easy sellers. I'll definitely get there. Matter of fact, the Kirby Squeak, the Kirby's Return to Dreamland, like a twenty-five to twenty-six dollar trade to GameStop right now. So that's happening. So essentially, I got like ninety dollars for that GameCube. So I gotta write that down because that was out of my collection. Another box bites the dust. I don't think so. And I'll see you guys if we make any more uh, deals during right, setup. So we'll the rest of the stuff out of the car. Woo! What do you know how to do? 
We know how to do displays the right way. We built the wall. We helped Trump build the wall. Yeah, yeah, I get it. That, yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, Mama K is helping Trump build the wall. See, look at my nice wall. I see that. Our nice wall. And for those of you that don't believe, that Dreamcast will be sold this weekend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it my mission to, to get that out of here. And I'm going to get my price. Not your price. My price. Oh, and look, it's Pat. Say hi. Woo! Josh! Oh, oh, oh. You don't need to jump like that. 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 You don't need to jump. No, no. Say I won't. Josh? Say I won't. Do you want to go to Six Flags? Try me, I won't break it. This is shaping up to look like a thing. So is that. Josh E is is killing it with the setups. Um wait a second, why are you just what? What? Okay, well, it looks good so far, so why does it look like there's less stuff than last time? Well, no, I pulled some of the stuff out, but it looked, I don't know. I don't know, you guys tell me which Palooza looked, looked more fuller. I mean, we definitely didn't have this many of those last this time. Is, this, this thing's killing, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, well, we'll figure something out. Okay. Do you like Pat the NES Punk, Boogie, AVGN, and what is your opinion of all of the celebrity guests that show up? Celebrities. I don't watch any of them. So I could give a less. They're not really considered celebrities. They're YouTubers. I wouldn't consider them celebrities. Look at, look at, look at that booth. That is a really packed out booth. Uh, Jordan's over there, Alex C and D is there. Me and Laurel are gonna go ahead back to, to our booth. I just wanted to show her that is a, a really well put together booth. Uh, but anyway. Uh, she comes next time, I'm not. Oh no, no, no. So you think no. long and hard who you want to come with you oh, no, on I, these road trips. No, no, no. I'm thinking both long and hard and she is not coming with us <laughs> next. Mama K, this is Mama K's if last Palooza. too many games? This is Mama I, K's. I will, I will not go if she goes with you. No, I was gonna say. I was gonna say this is Mama K's last retro palooza. But you didn't say anything about too many games or Portland again, Retro Gaming Expo. Again, or, she goes anywhere with us. I stay home. Okay, so you heard it here first, folks. This is Mama K's last convention. Period. All right, so, then. so you, so if Pete has an extra bed in his room. Um, you are you ask you want to bunk with Pete? Is that what you're saying? No. What are you saying? I'm saying Josh will bunk with Pete. Well, what about you? Hmm. So, so yeah, Josh, do you want to bunk with Pete? <laughs> Josh, we're going to the car to pick up the VHS tapes. Maybe Sprinkles will show up and uh. And hey. Say hi. Hey. All right, y'all. This guy right here get some awesome, awesome deals. Last time we was at a show, he gave me some really good deals, some Wii games. So y'all make sure when y'all see this guy, y'all make sure he know he's gonna give you some good deals. Yeah. Good dude, good dude. Uh, do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. Hey, man, check it out. Uh, White Way Photography uh, or White Way Photo. I can't even remember right now. I got so much stuff on my mind, but I do photography and also do uh, video games and stuff. Just restarting. So hey, go uh, hit me up. Tell me you saw me. Okay. I also do like WWE stuff, so go check okay. me out. Go check okay. So where'd you go, Laurel? Oh, I went to Whataburger. You remember what I told you about about certain things to not do on the first date? So I just gave Alex C and D a shirt mm, for the Kasharskis. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> we got Pete here. Laurel is here, and uh, we also have Joshy here as well. I would like to make the record state: Wells Fargo, I hate you. Wells Fargo is always giving us some BS. So the hotel charged me uh, what they were supposed. They charged me more than what they told me they were going to charge me. Damn. And then I come to find out they didn't charge. They didn't even charge me for last night's hotel. They charged me for tonight and tomorrow night's hotel. And it's a bunch of screwy going on. So now I got to go put more. Here, answer that, Josh. 
I gotta go put more money into my account to cover it. It's not a big deal. Hello? It's just the fact that they charged that they didn't even charge me the one night and it's not showing up, but then they charge me tonight and tomorrow night. It's a whole weird mess. But either way, we got the money. We're putting it in. I made some money today uh, on setup day, as I often do. I sold a few things, so that's awesome. Uh, Alex C and D, we met. Well, we already I already met him, but I met him again. That's awesome. I gave him a Kacharski shirt, as you can see. So, Bank. What's up? Good stuff. And Josh over here is on the phone with Mama K. Why didn't you come get me? Why? Why didn't you come get me? Booth. booth is closed. They they, they closed that up at nine. Josh is mad. Oh, go, go. Oh, no. <laughs> Mama K is scary and she is oh, no. mad and she wants a charger now. Alright guys, if you smell this cologne, you better return it. Get her there. So, so, jo so Josh, what just happened? Can, can you recap for us? So you had a half a shot. Jack hey, Daniel, <laughs> some uh, what was it? Red Stag. Red Stag. How, mu how much did he drink? Probably like a half a shot. I've had like eight. Yeah, we can what? Do it. Yeah. You had eight? I think so. Are you kidding me? No. But again, but again, he had, like he had like a half one. Yeah, like a quarter. A quarter? And I've never thrown up. And he's already started life. throwing up. Yeah, oh he's a f***ing cis bag. Sorry, Josh. Wow. I don't like saying that, but jeez Louise. Wow, that's a, this is a, the true story, I guess. I don't know. 22 or 23. There's the proof of Josh's throw up all over the floor. And I had like... We just ate two. Eight, I think I had like eight... So, I hear from a very couple reliable sources, plus the clip probably right before this, that you can't hold your liquor. Is that true? No, that's not true. So you didn't throw up after half a shot on this trip? Maybe I did, who knows? You'll have to watch. <laughs> we get back up to these changed room. Again, you wanna call her and tell her. I came on that side of the bed. Oh God, no. This one is a two-parter episode. Or two no two no two part question I should say, um, so how was Greg? You guys look wasted by the pool, and what happened on Mama K's bed again? Mm. What happened with you and Greg? You look wasted know, by the pool. Really, we just got really fucking drunk. And what did you say by the pool that happened on Mama K's bed? Oh, Aaron and I had some sex. No, it was the bed we were sleeping in. We christened it because I knew if we screwed in it, she wouldn't want it. Yeah, we well, okay, so would you like to, are you going to repeat this for them? Yeah, I came on that side of the bed, on that bed. Does she really want that bed? Or I could go sleep in Greg's extra bed. Laurel, he has an you are drunk. Do you have had one too he many shots. Well, no <laughs> this is, this I've is. I've more than a. I bought more than my grandma bought. If y'all want to sleep liquor. in my extra bed, you're welcome to, because I know how your mama is. <laughs> I, I know your mama. Sleep in I know Sharon Boner Kacharski personally. And I'm, I'm dry saying, enough. I understand. I'm dry enough. Pete. I can just take off go. my. She's I trying can... to get Josh to sleep with Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Pete I can just get Pete my clothes. Pete will touch Josh, and she knows it. I can just get my clothes off and get under the covers. I won't be molested. I will be great. Well, that would be y'all's business. <laughs> yes, I uh, want you to come sleep too, Aaron. Again, I would rather. Is I would, that why y'all want to go to Six Flags? He wanted to go. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, tonight. This uh, fry flip. Fry flip. Yeah, Dude, a, fry fest is a shit. And it, Do they not, have the big pumpkin in? I've too? never been to Six Flags in my life. I've been to Six Flags. I would rather sleep on myself than anybody else. That would have been tonight. That would have been right now. Well, no, no I think trust me. Go on Fright Fest. Okay, well, I I, okay. I think Sunday. we got enough footage for right now. I'm gonna cut this off. No. Hey, Aaron, check this out. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw you guys. You. Trolls. <laughs> but <laughs> no, we went to Six Flags and we saw Santa. And one Bush of his Bush helpers was called Plaid. <laughs> he <laughs> was. Phenomenal. There's nothing wrong with that, Kacharski. 
His fucking yeah. name was. It's 2018. It was. I know. I'm just. I'm he just. He was so cute. It was adorable. He had on this plaid outfit. Laurel says he was cute. It's confirmed. Just like Papa does. <laughs> you get that subway. His Please. name was Plaid, and he so, had this so plaid outfit. So am I like outfit. a special guest in this? In this right here right now? <laughs> I guess. So, yeah. I don't know how we'd get a green screen over here to do a Kucharski in interview. You'll be on the couch. So, this is all melted, by the way. Me and Laurel have been drinking this concoction that she bought from a, from a liquor store. It wasn't a concoction, hey, it was know, a f***ing ice cream. It's very good. But, I drink a lot. Like, I really do. He's drinking a lot. And, and it definitely... <laughs> it, it's melting this cup. <laughs> like, I'm not lying. It's melting it is. this cup. It is and literally. it has melted that cup. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> look at the holes. Wow. <laughs> you should fill a cup and get it. Oh, it makes my f***ing tongue hurt. Keep in mind, this was Laurel's. She's had about 10, 12 shots. And she's still okay. <laughs> this pussy throws up on the first shot. I'm not kidding. He f***ing took that f***ing thing and go, oh, that was okay. That was okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Okay, now, granted, I am hanging out with these three. I'm sorry. But tomorrow will be cooler. Glass. I promise. Laurel is such a peach. She made this so much easier. <laughs> Whoa. Woo! This is not good, guys. Mama K no, has joined not. the party. What are you doing? Oh no! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! I can't! I can't get this on camera. Well, we're homies. Laurel, you, Laurel, you don't want to stay here? You don't want. You don't want to stay here? Come, on, come. On. Little Wayne is back. Little Wayne is back. The Carter Five. Woo, check it out. Okay, are you good, Laurel? Okay, she's had a little bit too much to drink, but we're gonna take her back to the bedroom. She's good. Thank you.